Extrapulmonary aspergillosis. One of the most lethal complications of invasive aspergillosis is dissemination to the brain. The complication has been previously associated with near 100% mortality. It often occurs in widely disseminated infection and can occur as a single isolated site, which can develop as a complication of IV drug use. The diagnosis is difficult. Aggressive antifungal therapy, including the newer azoles or high-dose lipid amphotericin B, may improve outcomes particularly when combined with surgical resection. Cutaneous aspergillosis can be associated with primary infection or can represent hematogenous dissemination. In primary cutaneous aspergillosis, bandages or catheters, especially in neonates, can be predisposing risks. Aspergillus flavus is common on skin, but Aspergillus terius and other species can also be etiological agents. Sinus infection is the most common extrapulmonary site, which may predispose high-risk, severely immunosuppressed patients to pulmonary infection. Often, a definitive diagnosis of invasive sinus infection is difficult to establish, as positive cultures can represent saprophytic colonization. Aspergillus flavus, Aspergillus niger, and other species are common in this setting. Other sites are less common, including automycosis, a typically superficial or semi-invasive infection that is especially due to Aspergillus niger, characteristic for its black appearance. This infection is often treated topically but can be associated with invasive infection. Other sites include kidney infection, a complication of injected drug use, infection of the liver or spleen, which usually represents disseminated infection most commonly from invasive pulmonary aspergillosis, and endocarditis, which is frequently a lethal complication of disseminated disease, although cures with newer azoles, which are fungicidal against aspergillus, have been reported.